Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. As you wish. Bring what you got. Get to the trucks and grab those artifacts before they roll out. I got you. About time. Now oh, that was something. Welcome assistance. Here we go. Not possibly match your strength. Persistence. Get him for you.
Feel her corruption spreading. are secure, but why don't you teach Hydra a lesson while you're there? Bad luck for you, bud. I'm impressed. Just running some kind of experiment on your face. I think he botched it.
so many furious strikes. Too weak for this fight. We've done it. Excellent work. Coming to book club tonight? Meet you there. I'll walk you. Yeah? Welcome to book club. Yeah, okay. I didn't realize Steve knew the author. I really should have read this when he first asked. If you haven't already, you should welcome Logan. Let's get this started. I am ready. Before we start, I want to welcome Logan to the book club. What did you think of the book? I uh, didn't read it. Okay then, guess I'll start. Steve, I really enjoyed this book. What stood out to you? I know people have different approaches to leading others, but I never considered what drives them to do so. Take Custer. He led from the front and was mostly loved by his troops, but his drive for personal glory affected every choice he made. Eventually, Custer picked a fight he couldn't handle. His recklessness led to the death of himself and every soldier he commanded. His mistake was making decisions to elevate his own standing instead of his troops. Makes sense. The better they do, the more he gets credit for leading them to victory. I think the biggest lesson, beyond don't be Custer, is that an outsized ego is a double-edged sword for a leader. Also, you can't just get through life with a pretty face. I thought you didn't read the book. I didn't. But I pick things up from context. I learned more about George Washington from this book than anything I was taught in school. Yeah, that surprised me as well. Before this, I associated him with statues, paintings, and the dustiest parts of American history. But here we see a military leader whose personal ambition was the victory of his army. He was clear-eyed about his goals and knew how to get out of his own way. Washington led from the top. Though he kept counsel with various advisors, once he made a decision, he expected his subordinates to follow his orders. For less capable people, that sounds far too rigid a way to lead. Yeah, I find it's best to leave some wiggle room. Give your people objectives and the resources to achieve them. More than anyone else in the book, Washington believed true leadership is a contract bestowed upon you by those whom you lead. And that's where the book gets its title? Right. The mantle of authority. It's something that augments you. Which brings us to our final profile. We really don't have to do this one. And now I'm interested. Steve, how long have you bugged me to read this? 
Not because of the chapter on me. You all know General Phillips selected me for the Super Soldier program. For a time, he commanded me in the field, and that's why my profile is in the book. He was kind to say I led by example. Maybe that's how it used to be. But the Avengers isn't a military organization. If I gave Tony an order, he'd laugh in my face. To get anything done, I need the group's consensus. I can't give pretty speeches about the need to sacrifice. I have to show that putting in the effort today will make a better tomorrow. It cannot be as simple as you make it sound. Oh, it never is. It's a constant struggle, and you won't always see eye to eye. Still, I find it's absolutely worth the effort. Leadership you can gain, but trust, that you have to earn. But I find little enjoyment in talking about myself, so yeah, let's end it here. All right, we'll call it here. Next month is... Hunter, do you have any books to suggest? None from the past few centuries. Then Logan could pick the next one. Sure. The Adventures of Crash Morgan Number 5, The Last Queen of Deimos. What is that exactly? It's about a space explorer with a ray gun, a jetpack, and a fishbowl helmet. Travels through space with a robot dog. They get in wacky adventures. That's a classic. A buddy of mine had that in basic. I'm always up for space nonsense. I'm not, but that's the book. I'll give it a shot. What did you think? Well, the punch is decent. But there should have been a bigger spread. What well, I meant, what did you think about Book Club? I just told you. Thumbs up for punch, thumbs down for snacks. I'm actually surprised Steve recommended this book. Why? Steve can take a compliment, but he's uncomfortable with praise, especially from someone he respects. I'm not sure why Logan joined Book Club if he's not going to read the books. You are not required to do so. Come on, it's the principle. Feeling good today, girl? Hey. Well, at least Logan showed up. You did not think he would. I wasn't sure he'd be in the book club. And I don't know what to expect from that book of his. The name alone has me intrigued. Hmm. Maybe you're right. I should learn to roll with the unexpected. You welcomed a resurrected demon slayer into your life. Now we read books together. Can't argue with that. When you first joined, I wanted you to keep an open mind about book club. I owe Logan the same courtesy you showed me. Good call. You calling it? I should leave. Peace.
Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Let's touch base. How's it going, boss? These should definitely give you an edge. Always a pleasure. Ready to work? Let's see him try to handle me now. Better test this out next time. I think we've got something for everyone. Later. You seem lost. Can I help you? I am just taking a breather between crises. I guess crisis is all either of us have ever known. Sometimes I wonder what my life would be like if I didn't have this burden to carry. What do you mean? Like where I would be, what I would be doing, where I'd spend my retirement. Retirement? Yes, Hunter. Even I dream about life beyond this abbey. Don't you? I do not think about myself, but I know you deserve the rest. You have been at this longer than any of us. It doesn't feel that way. But then again, I avoid looking at calendars. Well, I could spend all day thinking about this, and then nothing would get done. You sound tempted to do just that. Oh, Hunter, you have no idea. Come on, I'm sure there's something for us to handle right now. operatives in this area has been transmitting unusual signals back to their base of operations. Still holding their interest. If we can capture that agent, we might gain some insight into Hydra's plans. It will not take us long. the very memory. We are getting pretty good at this. Now's your chance. Take them into custody before they can regain their bearings. Hydra will let you walk off with their agents so easily. Stay alert. You didn't have enough to worry about. Now you'll have to deal with this thing, too. We 
We need to take care of the rest of these thugs. Don't hold back. Had your chance to escape. Tail back. See yourself as something more than hiding. You are nothing but the common rule. Sweet, even for Hydra. Fate is sealed. I am not in the mood for hide and seek right now. Attempt to concealment. I need a hand here.
advantage is mine. Wrestling down in Tijuana once? I swear it was you. It's not often you get a second chance. chance to talk. Enough of you, Rumlo. Was that truly your best?
Back in business. No retreat! Let's do it. Someone get me out of here! Get the gun any way we know how. So that was something. I have crossed paths with many assassins. None have ever managed to impress. No mercy for the servants of Lilith. I need a medic here! You think that is? Follow my lead! what you know. This shall be of great help. This'll shoot the fleas off a dog's back at 500 yards! Operational status critical. Target control. Don't make good use of this. Walk in the light. I owe you one. They do not stand a chance. You're never strong enough to face me. Looks like you've got the agent in custody. Better clear out before Hydra sends a search party. Hey boss, I could use some help. Next shop class is supposed to meet tonight. So just the two of us? Actually, when I asked Parker, he mentioned you stopped by. Said he could convince Robbie if I could get you to show. I'm sure everyone has something to say. Maybe. But I already said too much. I have to fix this. We should not keep them waiting. Time to face the music. So, what did you want? A do-over? And to, uh, to apologize for the last time. It's a nice sentiment, but a do-over doesn't have much appeal for either of us. Yeah, I don't understand why we should keep giving you chances. You shouldn't. Not if you don't want to. But hear me out, okay? I've been the person in charge for years. 
When I'm stressed, I can steamroll people who never expected it, and certainly don't deserve it. That's what assholes say. To justify their behavior so they can keep being assholes. Half of the Avengers agree with you. Look, nothing I did was justified. I was a jerk. And I'm sorry. Okay... Look, when you take away all the trappings of ungodly wealth, I'm just a guy who likes to make things. None of my friends were into this stuff. I was the only kid who saw beauty in exhaust manifolds, who spent hours poring over the guts of a microprocessor. That's all I want here, to make things with friends. As long as that's still an option. That's the whole idea behind this? Okay, here's how we make this work. Tony Stark, CEO, is banned from shop class. But making things, Tony? The guy we're talking to right now? He can stay. That's more than fair. Glad that's over with. Feuding with Tony Stark is not an achievement I care to unlock. So, how about we make something new? Another day for retooling. We have a few more ideas in the backlog if you want to check them out. I finally have a use for the components you handed me. I'm ready to put this together. How about you? I am ready. Parker's creative drive is amazing. Seeing how he tackles a problem gives me ideas of my own. And Robbie has the right intuition when it comes to putting these prototypes together. I thought he was being overcautious, but that's a crafter's care. Wish I'd seen it earlier. Look, I don't want to brag, but I think this is our best work. Yeah, I know, blah blah, teamwork, blah blah blah, but still, it's impressive what we can do when we all work together. I think that was our best work. Everyone did their part. I'm ready to call it a night. How about you? Give me a minute. You got it. You know, I might stay for a bit more. I want to finish an adjustment to the Hell Ride. Is that it for today? I am ready to go. Got a sec? Sure. About Salazar Steel. I couldn't remember any details about the Stark Technology Center, so I did some digging. Ten years ago, Oscorp and Stark Industries were in a good old-fashioned business war. Salazar Steel was a promising acquisition. When we realized Oscorp was angling in, we bought the plant from Mr. Salazar. What we didn't realize was how much of his finances were a mess. Poured his profits back into the plant it was the only thing keeping the lights on. But the Oscorp thing, well, our stock couldn't afford to take the hit. We had to shut the plant down. Then, what was the technology center? A complete fiction. The only problem I saw from the boardroom was a dip in our stock from closing the plant. So I did the classic billionaire's trick of pitching a ridiculous idea that would take years to get off the ground. The stock rose. People celebrated my genius vision. And that was the last I thought of Salazar Steel. But I should have followed up. Ensured the people who lost their jobs found new ones. Robbie, I'm not the man I was ten years ago. I'm glad you met me, and not him. This doesn't make you look good. Yeah, I, uh, I get that a lot.
Lilith can keep throwing demons at us. We'll keep putting them down. Thanks, Hunter. I will see if I can find you a treat later. Hunter. Aliens, doomsday prophecies, demons, elder gods? Are you experiencing existential dread spirals? Yes! How do I stop my science-minded brain melting into whimpering sludge? Enjoy your favorite dishes with friends. Taste buds ground us in reality, and good company provides distraction. Oh man, Aunt May makes the best clam linguine. No matter what I'm dealing with, that recipe makes me whole. Unfortunately, home cooking is not anyone's forte at the Abbey. Is it reckless to ask Ileana to open a portal for some takeout? Never mind. I heard myself say it. It does seem frivolous. You know what? Perhaps the best way to get my head on straight is to learn to cook. I'm gonna try my hand at Aunt May's clam linguine. Noodles and seafood? Yeah. I think it'll be my way of eating tentacled gods. I will literally eat my fears! Thanks, Hunter. I think that was helpful. The sky routinely cracks open these days, so I guess I really don't know anything. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. Uh, no picking out. What do you think? Sometimes, I even impress myself. Good day, Hunter. We could go a few rounds. 
I can see you've earned your... Practice makes perfect. Caretaker said I need to be a team player. So I guess I'm letting you choose for me too. Later. There's my hunter. I'm ready when you are. Time to spill your guts, Hydra. Well, this was educational, in a terrible way. I'll cut through that encryption in no time. Want to read something that'll make you weep? Take a look at this. We're ready to make a move. If I had time, I'd take care of these myself, but I have been accused of hogging the ball before. Boss. Heads up, Hunter. no less from someone as skilled as you. I wouldn't have guessed we'd become such fast friends, Hunter, but I welcome your company. Thanks, Hunter. Midnight Suns. I can handle it. Welcome, assistants. Not too good for you. <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> 
too easy. Roger. There's still time to run away, but you better get going. Lucky I'm one of the nice ones. Hopefully they learned their lesson, but we all know that's wishful thinking. We'd become I'm the best there is at what I do, but you're right behind me. for this I disagree we can still defeat my mother no you and me doing this living weapons ain't designed to relax you make a fella downright resentful it is hard to take it easy when the world is falling apart for me it's like there's always a blade stuck in my side when I relax it's like I can feel it twist. How do you handle it? Same as you. I go looking for a fight. Does it work? Not always, but it's enough to dull that blade. Didn't expect to enjoy myself.
Looking for company, Logan. Funny, you strike me as a loner. Who, me? I like people. Problem is, people usually don't like me back. Well, we need your skills, so consider yourself liked here. And my apologies about the circumstances. When you get to be my age, you end up carrying so much baggage people would rather leave you in the dust. So, uh, thanks for not leaving this old man behind. Trust me, you do not need to worry about your personal problems. We all have them here. Oh yeah. I could tell right away this place was like a clubhouse for the deeply disturbed. I'm just bummed I didn't bring my toothbrush. Well, you are welcome to stay here as long as you want. I gotta admit, Sarah's got a pretty swanky setup. Puts Xavier's bad to shame. Some people think it is a little... spooky. A spooky place for spooky people. <laughs> Seems like home. Can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? Nice. You brought me the good stuff. Is this thing behind me turns into a giant gateway to ancient Egypt? Sometimes, I even impress myself. Oh, and I was just about to binge watch my stories. This was prized by many powerful An excellent find, Hunter. I'm happy to help, Hunter. Welcome to my barracks, as I like to call it. Reminds you of your war days, huh? The smell is the same. Old socks, anticipation, and sometimes fear. I was just a kid when I joined the army. I never thought my war days would come to an end. You and me both, Captain. I have been training for war since I was a child. I was born for battle. And I died in it. And when I was resurrected, I awoke to bloodshed again. It is all I have ever known. The world failed you, Hunter. You should have woken up to a better world. The sad truth is, if it was a better world, I would not have been woken up at all. As much as I hate to say it, maybe war is our destiny. We're both soldiers who've been plucked from our timelines and thrown into it over and over again. Maybe this is what we're supposed to be doing, fighting an endless war. I have never imagined myself outside of our endless fight. It is my purpose. It brings me meaning. I cannot walk away from it until it is done. Even if it never will be. 
I think every time we talk, I find something new to admire about you, Hunter. You are never going to stop saving the world, are you? No, and neither are you. You're about the closest thing I have here to a co-captain. We might not be able to end all wars, but if you keep walking the walk, we'll be able to end this one. Ready for more? Not everyone wants my advice. You know I know magic, right? Ooh, now I see what all the fuck. Do your thing. Hunter? Ileana. What? Oh, sorry. I was off somewhere else, thinking about my brother. have a brother? Yes, Piotr. He's older. Very protective. He wanted to come here with me, but... No. This part of my life isn't for him. It is nice that he cares so much. You'd think so, but this is more about his guilt than my safety. Piotr blames himself for not protecting me in the past. Now he sees me as some fragile bird. That is not fair to you. You are one of the Midnight Suns, and a formidable one at that. He must see that you can protect yourself. You don't know, Piotr. To say he's immovable would be an understatement. Ugh, anyway. Thank you for talking. It is good to get out of my mind once in a while. Thanks, Hunter. No pain, no gain. Think Doctor Strange knows Merlin? I'm still waiting for someone to take this sword. What's up, big... Out of trouble. Are you having problems with your depth perception? <laughs> I was running a search for our new pal Blaze's location, and all of a sudden, this happened. Equone credite tucri. Latin? Do not trust the horse Trojans. Carol, just what type of search were you running? There. It's a message. Well, more like a bad dad joke from beyond the grave. Howard? His research files. Whenever there's any unauthorized access, the Trojan horse program activates and... Bingo. There's our little thief right there. The Southwest. That cannot be a coincidence. Tony, did Howard do this to all his files? Oh no. Only the good stuff. 
the really juicy stuff. How juicy? Well, I'll give you two guesses, but you'll only need one. A big green one. to use it against us. We'll get the intel and throw it back in their faces. Do not stray from path. Find out what Banner is searching for in the Stark Files, then get back here. We got this, Sarah. I know how to handle Bruce. He's fallen under Lilith's power. He's no longer the same man you knew. Yeah, he's a little more exciting now. and the creepy crew? If anyone could fight her off, I'd have thought it'd be you. And why would I ever want to do that? She values me, not the monster you all seem so fixated with. Together, we will shatter the limitations of what you refer to as magic and science. But don't take my word on it. My gamma accelerator is only the first step. We stand on the precipice yeah, yeah, I heard that one before. Usually when Pops was ready to kick off a new arms race. Save your phony disgust for the cameras. We both know you're interested. I want you to finish Howard's work. Uh-huh. With me. Of course. Together we will fulfill your father's destiny. Yep. And bask in the glory of the Dark Mother. And there it is. Well, Bruce, I can see how well this whole Lilith thing is working out for you, but the problem is, I already have a team. And while I appreciate the generous offer, we're gonna take back my father's data, and then kick your evil ass. Dr. Banner was kind enough to alert Hydra's forces to your presence. If you ever wanted to show off your elite hacking skills, now would be the time, Mr. Stark. Me? Show off? What would ever get you that idea? And didn't I tell you to call me Tony? Just hack the computer before they smash it, please, Tony. See, that wasn't so hard.
No mercy for the bullet. Salesman Bruce, at least butter me up before you attack my deservedly huge ego. is teeming with Hydra reinforcements. Anything you can do to expedite the process. Look, you can't just smash the keyboard and wait for a bunch of algebraic equations to fly off the screen. This isn't some 90s movie. Credit where credit is due. Stark knows his technology. Why can it never be easy with you? Just lucky, I guess. Tony, wait. We have what we came for. There's no reason to... Follow him.
Holy mother of... Is it me, or are these things just getting bigger and bigger? I would be more concerned about the mace. Oh, I was getting to that. But I just can't pull my eyes away from that massive brain case of hers. I'm glad you're in good spirits, but the Dread Demon is no laughing matter. I bet you guys couldn't even beat the security guards in my parking garage. One more time. Fair enough. See if they have an answer for this. I will lift the burden of existence from your shoulders. Try summoning reinforcements unless you can disable her first. Sure, maybe we'll just take a few swipes at her kneecaps. You have earned this. I know what my future holds. Behold the light's gift. For punishment. We will make this quick. That hurt. You really got a one track mind. Lilith has made this dread maiden in her own twisted image. Interesting interpretation. I would guess it was something out of Giger's sketchbooks. I fear no end. You 
had your chance to escape. You were never strong enough to face me. for the beating we're about to do. Remind me to thank Banner for unleashing this thing on us. He really doesn't handle rejection at all. That will not distract me! I'm on it! The champion has failed. I wasn't sure how you'd fare against her. But the Dread Maiden was no match for you. What'd you call that thing again? Dread Maiden. Oh yeah, I can see that. I think I lost myself there for a second. I should have listened to you. I'm sorry about that. He that starts out on a quest for vengeance. This work, this discovery, will have ramifications for generations to come. Think my own son, Tony. Better not miss. Every time it seems like I finally put my family issues behind me, someone has to go and pick at the scar. Is this about what Banner found in your father's files? Bingo. Let's just say your mom and my dad would have made a real cute couple. In hell. At least you managed to grab whatever Banner was after. Tiny victory, I guess. But I don't think Banner or his Puppet Master are going to give up that easily. Especially knowing what kind of stuff my father had in those files. Perhaps I should know more about him. Your father, that is. Some kids' dads had hobbies like collecting coins or stamps. Mine collected Defense Department contracts. And on the rare occasions when he wasn't off trying to build a better bomb, he was yelling at me. Over what? Over everything! So Banner wants one of your father's bombs? No, oh, it's worse than that. Howard had an avid interest in gamma radiation. That's the thing that puts the Hulk in Hulk. He always talked of constructing a gamma accelerator, an unbelievably powerful piece of machinery. If that's what Banner's after, we could be in a world of hurt. Whatever it is, we will never let Banner get it. Well, I hope you're right. I wish I could have your can-do attitude right now. If it helps, we could go through the files together strategize. I appreciate the offer, Hunter, but right now I just need to get out of this suit and put my thoughts together.
It's your move, Tony. Move for me. I can't move for you. That defeats the purpose of the game. Why don't you just tell me what's bothering you instead? How do you know something's bothering me? I'm getting used to the Abbey. Didn't think I'd like it at first. Monks lived here isn't on my list of preferred amenities. What changed your mind? It reminds me of a Cree outpost. Mostly solitary, but you have your team around. Enough contact with civilization to avoid going loopy. What do you get when Captain Marvel goes stir-crazy? You tell me. Someone who is not enjoying herself? <laughs> no, I'm having a great time. I thought you were setting up a cheesy joke. Oh, no, I was really curious. When you have cabin fever, what does it look like? How about me 20 minutes ago? Nice. What about you? You died here, so I bet you have some complicated thoughts about this place. Yes, there are bad memories. But the good ones outweigh them all. You're lucky you have that. I'm making some new ones right now. <laughs> no one likes a suck-up hunter. But so am I. We're doing this again. Make plans. If everything seems foreboding, it is simply because everything is foreboding. How are you, Peter? Better than the world out there. I've been watching this for hours, hoping to get a glimpse of the neighborhood, see how it's holding up through all this. But, I guess Queens is not important enough for the news media to cover. An absence of news is not necessarily a bad thing. Is that supposed to make me feel better? So, take heart that nothing is being reported regarding your neighborhood. It probably means everything is okay there. Thanks, Hunter. That makes me feel mildly better. I just hope Aunt May is safe. I've been trying to reach her on her cell all day today and the signal keeps dropping. I'm guessing that big hole in the New York atmosphere is interfering with her cellular network. Sometimes I feel like I should be there with her. To protect her. To protect the neighborhood. But I know you need me here. Be assured, we will not allow any harm to come to her. You really mean that? I do. That means so much to me to hear you say. Oh, looks like I just got a message. From your Aunt May? No, MJ. She said Aunt May is staying with her. What a relief. You should call them. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Thanks for checking in on me, Hunter. I'm concerned about the entanglements or avid guests. Valor's Edge until duty calls. If Lilith mind jacks me, she's gonna be surprised how much of it is taken up by movie trivia and web. <laughs> Tony Stark's father had a secret trove of gamma research that Bruce Banner stole from under our noses. That stings me, and I'm not even an Avenger. He's not calling, is it? Banner's theft of Howard Stark's research is troubling. 